Welcome to part two of my video showing you how to restore a Triumph Herald or Vitesse. In this part of the video, I'm showing you how to repair the door aperture, the inner and outer B post, and the lower rear wing. We're going to start by removing the tread plate shown here. And then I will fit a new tread plate which I've made from much thicker material than the original. I will start by drilling through all the spot welds and then cut along the swage line. And then I'll be able to remove the corroded tread plate. All of the holes you can see here will be used to plug weld the new tread plate into position. Then we will need to remove the corroded areas here and here from the rear wing. But since we have some repairs to the inner B post, we'll be cutting from here to gain more access. After removing the bottom of the rear wing, you might be able to see the full extent of the corrosion to the B post and part of the floor section. Now we just need to remove all of this corrosion from here and replace it with new metal. After removing the corroded floor section and lower B post, I will clean this area with a rotary wire brush to reveal the spot welds that I will then drill out to remove the final piece of floor. As they used to say in Blue Peter to save time, here's one I made earlier. I just need to clamp it into position and weld it. Now that's all welded up, I'll just finish off the bottom of the inner B post. Now we are ready to finish off the repairs to the outer B post. If you keep this joint nice and flush, you should not need to use any body filler. Although this car will be getting completely stripped down and removed from the chassis, I think it is wise to do most of the fabricating and welding whilst it is still on the chassis, which will ensure a good fit when the car is reassembled. The same applies to this next piece, which I will now fit to the rear wing. To stop the wing from distorting, weld it as shown here. You should do lots of spot welds around the joint, spreading them out and stopping to allow each weld to cool before welding the next spot. Also, you will need to leave a one millimeter gap in the joint, which should give you a much better weld penetration. If you have an airline, cool down each weld with your blowgun until eventually the whole joint will be welded without any distortion. Then you can sand down the weld with a 36 grit disc and then finish off with an 80 grit disc. In the next part of my video, I'll show you how to repair the boot floor, 
rear lights and overrider mountings. If you would like to see this Vitesse being fully restored with lots of detail from this to this, then please subscribe to my YouTube channel.